Oh, son, I've been working day and night on this idea. It came to me as like a, just a fun little thought or whatever. And it really spawned through me watching all these people in courses. There's two people who I've seen do courses lately. The self-improvement niche, they all put out these, oh, how to fucking make oatmeal and blueberries, how to, how to do crypto, how to do all this shit. You got the two biggest ones I've seen right now is The New World by Andrew Tate. And the second biggest is this Adonis school by the Hamza dude, the Indian self-improvement guy. And the the Tate one you can kind of is easily dismissed by a lot of people in the past when I've been super desperate like oh man I gotta monetize my online income I gotta get this shit going and you're just like in your head I'm like man this could really be the answer and then it always pulls me out of yeah I could really if I was gonna go this route I could really learn this shit off a fucking YouTube video he doesn't even teach you in the course so I wrote that one off completely then I was looking at this Adonis school by this Hamza dude and I was like, you know what? He does have like the honesty element to it and all of that. And he actually does like hold his own shit inside the school and it looked pretty good. And then you see this fucking paywall of $500, which honestly, I'm not even complaining at that. I don't think that's a negative thing, but I just still think it lacks the intrinsic value to self-improvement. I thought about myself. All right, a lot of this shit I could learn off of a YouTube video, but what is one of the biggest problems I had throughout self-improvement? Finding other people on self-improvement in real life. I've been on this shit for three years, lost over 100 pounds, yada, 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 life story bullshit. And the one biggest problem I had, it wasn't women. Once you go into the red pill and you actually start fucking chasing after women with tinder and you get your shit dialed in that shit's easy as fuck that you can write that shit off within six months and skyrocket yourself where you have some sense of validation when it comes to women uh going to the gym you can watch videos for two or three hours every single day on gym videos and you're educated and then you just put in the initiative of going and you'll build a fucking good body eat right yada yada Whenever it comes to money, this is kind of the gray area, but a lot of people realize that it's kind of a thought you have to come to on your own of what you got to do and this and that, and that's a whole different issue that really just is almost as complicated to what's the purpose of life because it's so different for everybody. But the main problem that I've always seen could be fixed that I always had was meeting people in real life. I go, you're not going to go in the gym and be like, what's up, motherfuckers? Who fucks with Andrew Tate? Who's trying to grind on self-improvement? Everybody's there to go to the gym. You're not going to find the same sort group of people who have the same awareness or pop culture, if you will, of self-improvement, like self-improvement pop culture. Hey, you remember whenever that dude made the video when he was in his Bugatti? You remember like uh, whenever they benched this? You remember whenever? You can come off all these references and you already know because they have been in this online world. And for all these people in this online space you, that are taking action in real life in different ways, because there are a lot of them, but there's always this disconnect or you don't feel like you can connect with somebody because they're not as dr driven and passionate about this shit as possible. I've come up with the solution to this. Tribe Tracker. Now, first off the bat, I ripped this from the Adonis School. But it is not Adonis School. Inside Adonis School, I saw that he had this thing. I was watching the walkthrough of it where some Indian kid opens up a custom Google map and pins points uh, within a mile radius the location of each member. So you, whenever you go to Google Maps, this custom Google map, you see all the locations and shit like that, which you would be thinking, well, why wouldn't I just join that one? Because that's kind of the concept right now of Tribe Tracker. And then I realized how he presented it. He presented it as some sort of a novelty whenever brotherhood is not a novelty and self-improvement there's three main key things that you need when the social aspect besides women you need a mentor this can be anywhere for someone you actually know in real life to someone you watch in a video from to someone that's 300 years ago they were dead and you're reading their book now that can be your mentorship then you need a the third and the lowest form is a mentee. This can be anywhere from a little brother to someone you're teaching. Oh yeah, do this in the gym for bench press. To even someone like 
making these videos i'm mentoring in a way every single person getting your thoughts onto something that you would kind of perceive as less knowledgeable than you to keep yourself accountable but then the biggest but then the biggest one but the the one i didn't mention out of the three which is the biggest is brotherhood think about andrew tate there, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate are like one of the most popular people on self-improvement nowadays. And the main thing that they talk about, and a lot of other people see that they're jealous of, it isn't the money. There's a bunch of fucking millionaires. It isn't, it isn't all this like luxury shit and all this. It isn't that. It isn't even their aesthetics. That's very, all this shit is very surface value. The one thing that they have that no other creators have is the brotherhood. That's why Tristan Tate has been coming out of the fucking gray area so re so much recently is because they're showcasing on full display their brotherhood. It, they have a bond like you would never believe. Motherfuckers live together, work together, share bank accounts. Anytime you hear them talk about uh, their fucking $5 million Bugatti, it's ours. Anytime you hear them talk about their car, it's ours. They they raise their kids simultaneously. They both have parental uh, control over their kids. Every single aspect. And there's an old famous saying, and it was even made into a short video by Joey Diaz, where it was like, you got one person can one person can get a lot done but you got three bad motherfuckers you can take over a whole fucking city it's how armies are formed and all this shit and that's what i want to do with this this i'm gonna make a bunch of it in i'm gonna use this like third party so core i'm gonna use the third party like fucking course website to get this shit going i'm gonna use the same way that this Hamza Adonis school has got his shit going. His shit is $500 and $100 a month. Right now, I'm going to charge $20 a month. One, I got to fucking pay. If I get five people in this thing, I'll make my money back. Because I'm paying $100 a month just to get this shit running as it is. Then on top of that, but I want, say I get a thousand people to join. I'm going to have to manually enter all their shit in. Everything. We're going to have like interest, things you're looking for. If you're into like going to the gym, you're looking for a gym bro, conspiracy theories, all the uh, self-improvement, philosophy, just every fucking thing. I'll have a list of improvements and I'll make a video showcasing like a walkthrough of what it is. But this is not the full program. I'm going to be taking all the people investors, call it a fucking Kickstarter if you will, and half of everything that people give me in the beginning and putting it towards some sort putting it towards developing this into a fucking app think i want it to be as big as tinder i want this shit to be like tinder for gym bros and the paywall is honestly a net positive yes this is going to go up the price of this service will go up eventually i'll be charging as much of as adonis school but the people who first join you're gonna be locked in dog and don't think of the paywall as a negative I want to give you an analogy. I used to play CSGO on a lot of Steam games when I'm younger. I haven't played a single video game in like a year and a half since I've been on the self-improvement shit. But whenever I would play CSGO and Steam games in general, we play like a bunch of these like free Steam games. Like, oh man, there's nothing good out on board. Let's play these free games. And there'd be hackers and all sorts of bullshit trolls in it. But then you go over to CSGO and the $15 selling point kept a lot of those hackers out. People, a hacker is not going to fucking get the game hack for like 20 minutes just to get banned. Same thing with here. This The paywall will create two things for security. It will create safety in the real world because you'll have less people trying to do malicious things due to the paywall. As well as you'll have... As well as it keeps a lot of people more accountable. You're not going to want to be... You're not going to want to just buy this and fuck off like it's something. Oh, well... I spent $2.99 on Amazon. No, $20. This shit is going to go up to $100 a month, if not more. This is going to be, in my opinion, I really believe this is going to be huge. Whenever I imagine the app, I don't know if people can understand my vision for this. This is one of the biggest fucking problems I see in self-improvement is all these lone wolf motherfuckers. And that shit will drive you insane like it has myself many times during this process. And really, the ultimate goal, I'm going to be making content and videos and sharing my opinions and doing, adding extra value to the thing while it's on the course. But eventually, 
This will be like a Pokemon Go type shit, bro. This, I want people to not watch any of my videos after this. I want them to be dedicated in the app. We'll have like really a whole competitive system. The homepage will be the map. And pretty much the premise, like I said, is it showcases all the people's locations. And you can go, click, and see, holy shit, there's a dude uh, 20 minutes away in my city and he's on the same shit I am. Let me message him and let's go to the gym and get a workout in and start building a business together. Yada, yada, yada. Go pick up on women or whatever. That is the concept. And I believe this shit will be huge. So, if you're really interested in it and you want to try it out, $20, go down in the subscription, $20 reoccurring every month. Go down in the subscription, click the link and, and get it. And then once you're directed to the website, once you're directed to the website, there's two pinned posts. It kind of works like a Reddit thread, kind of. There's two pinned posts. And each post... It's very bare bones. I don't even have any pictures yet. I just believe in this concept so highly. So there's two posts. The first one is the link you have to click to the map. This is how you'll access the map. But under that, I want you to make a comment of your name and a couple interests you have. And I'll link them off. And I will, I'm going to personally write in each one of these things. And we'll be doing some coaching calls or whatever i want to meet some of the first new people in this shit that truly believe in my product keep on grinding old son chase paper and enjoy nature big things are fucking coming dog